Hi, excuse me. Can I interview you for my YouTube channel? Oh, sure. I can. What, what, it's, YouTube, what is it though, first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about your feet and mental health. Your feet and mental your health? Your feet and mental health, yeah. Oh, okay. like, so, what, what correlation? So, I'm a foot photographer. So I teach other foot photographers and other guys how to get over anxiety by interviewing women to see how you feel about your feet and how you feel about guys that like women's feet. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's because I thought about um, so my cousin uh, and my like family members like or certain things. Even a comedian like stand up that I went to go see, she was talking about like how guys are into feet now. Yeah. Something. All right, and we can talk cousin, about that. Like, she got paid to like send a uh, guy a picture for feet. Yeah, and yeah. Sent her like $200. Really? Yeah, yeah that's really like, popular. That's so crazy. So I just thought of that book. Okay, but you're talking about like mental health. And that too. I mean, just all aspects of it oh. to see like what your experience with that you know, type of situation like that. Yeah. Okay, wait. So what are your questions for you? Can we sit down on the grass? Okay, okay. okay. All right, cool. I'm Thank you. I'm down to spend some time. All right, awesome. Yeah. I'll, I'll see how I feel about it. All right. I'll be like, nah, I did. did you cut the video? <laughs> it's just going to be a conversation. <laughs> okay. It's a, my brother's a YouTuber. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is like a, I don't want to say just skating channel because he does a lot of different editing. And mm -hmm. Yeah, he has different like skills going on. But it's mostly a skating channel. Skating channel, okay. Yeah. How long has he been doing it? Uh, for almost Scott. a year now. Okay, yeah, me too. It'll be a year this 26 for me. Nice. Yeah, he was telling me about like, um, so YouTube, if you, uh, is like a better platform to like, you know, express yourself and like also. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. But, um, he'll tell me that like, there's a certain amount of numbers if you start getting paid and subscribers. Yeah, you have to have um, a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch time hours within yeah. a year. Yeah. Within a year. Okay. So let's get this backdrop. So you can just have a seat. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. You ready? All right. So how do we get to this moment just now? Uh, I saw you crossing the street. Yeah. Crossing the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I stopped you for an interview, right? Yes. What's the interview about? Feet and mental health. Exactly. Why'd you say yes to the interview? Because I like your vibes, so I was like, okay. Okay, <laughs> awesome. All right, so first and foremost, how do you feel about your feet? Um, I feel like, you know, they're very strong. Uh huh. Carrying me throughout the day. Okay. Um, I'm grateful for my feet. All right. Do you think you have pretty feet? Uh, yes. I don't. I don't think about it like that. So okay. Like, yeah. So actually, but I'll say yes. You know. Has a guy ever gave you a compliment about your feet? Um. <laughs> no, I, I think I would laugh if they did. Just cause that's Why is that? The, the whole feet uh, phenomenon is going on with guys and, you know, and girls' feet. Yeah, what do you think about that? <laughs> this whole phenomenon with guys and girls' feet. Um, everybody has their own thing, you know. I just, it's not my thing. Uh-huh. That's their thing. So, I don't. I don't really feel anything about it. I just think it's kind of um, interesting, you know. I I don't, I would not prefer to do that. I mean, you know, they're sending like money for speed picks. That's, I guess, like, you know, some people. You wouldn't prefer to do that? No, Receiving money? No, desperate, they could go ahead and do that. I feel like, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh yeah, I need some rent money or something. Here's a picture of my feet, you know. Okay, but you never thought but, about maybe like no. selling feet picks? <laughs> No, that's not my thing. It's not your thing? It's not my thing. Okay, would you be receptive to like a guy giving you like a foot massage? Like rubbing your feet, kissing your feet, smelling your feet, licking your feet, and those uh, things? Yeah, no, it's not my thing. It's not your thing? Why? Um, unless like we're married or something. Oh, marriage, really? <laughs> yeah, not even a boyfriend. I don't want a boyfriend touching my feet like that. Really? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I mean a foot massage. It's like, just not my thing. You don't like foot massages? I mean, I like foot massages. But like, yeah, like family, like family members have given me foot massages, you know, mm -hmm. like I'm very active. So, um, you know, there's a lot of women in my family. So like, we're kind of, you know, if someone's in pain, mm -hmm. like, we're kind of healers, so we'll help each other out. But, okay. um, 
But this is a, that's different. It's different, from yeah. Having like a so like a guy who's getting pleasure out of giving you a foot massage, you're playing with your feet. I'm just not into you that. You wouldn't be into that. No. <laughs> I, I, be, I just I feel so uncomfortable. Really? Yeah. Have you ever experienced it? No, I don't want to. <laughs> so how do you how do you know if you wouldn't like it though if you've never experienced it before? Well, because I could just I could imagine myself in that situation, mm-hmm. someone getting pleasure off that. I feel like. I enjoy it when someone's doing it out of like nurturing yeah. and care as opposed to pleasure. Well, I mean, yeah. what's the difference? I mean, if, I mean, well, I mean a foot like massage. Sexual pleasure. Okay. Sexual. That's different. That's the difference. But okay, giving someone sexual pleasure doesn't give you like a nurturing type of feeling. There's not those not connections? Me. Okay. Very interesting. All right. Well, let me yeah. tell you how the, how my YouTube start, start, uh, channel got started. So, do you have a therapist? Um, I, not right now. Not currently. Okay. So, have you heard of, like, DBT, dialectical behavioral therapy? No. What is that? So, like, let's say someone is suffering from anxiety, like a fear of approaching strangers. DBT will advise you to go and approach strangers, to go out and get out of your comfort zone on purpose. So, you can do a self-assessment. And then when you're in that position, you ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen out of this situation? Yeah. Even though I'm uncomfortable, I don't, I'm not into this situation, yeah. you know, is there a threat to my life or a threat to my safety? Does my fear or anxiety fit the facts of the situation? If not, then you apply what they call opposite action and you purposely act opposite to what those anxious feelings want you to do. So if those feelings are telling you to withdraw, instead you engage. Mm. And you anticipate a positive outcome that's going to happen. After every event, you keep a diary noting what happened. You know, was I mindful? Did I let go of my worries? Did I live in the moment? Was it a pleasant experience? So you can go back and see how far you've progressed. So my videos are depictions of me applying DBT okay. in video form instead of keeping it on paper. Yeah. And as it relates to feet, I'm one of those guys, I guess a part of that phenomenon that likes women's feet. Oh, okay. So, um, and there's guys out there who like women's feet as well, but they might be afraid or like hesitate to telling women that because they might anticipate a negative reaction. Yeah. So I, diff- I interview different women, strangers to get different perspectives and different perceptions mm-hmm. so they can watch the videos and anticipate certain behaviors yeah. and benefit from it. So what do you think about that? I mean, that's good for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's a, uh, you know, it's good to express yourself mm-hmm. you know, and any other man that feels that way I think however you're feeling whatever you're putting out there yeah. will come to you so definitely men who feel or, or that are attracted to feet and yeah. feet will find women that like that also mm-hmm. just it's you know it's not everybody's thing of course yeah that's why I try to get all t- different types of reactions and perceptions all right, well, one more thing. Can we see what your feet look like close up? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want this to be all out on the internet. You don't want if your feet to be on the internet? No. Why not? What's the worst that could happen with that? It's uh, just not my thing. Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to show your feet? No, I'll show my bracelet or something, but... But your feet? Not my feet. All right. So rapid things up. What did you think about this experience, this interview? Um... Um, I mean, adding on to what I already know of, so that, that there's men out there that like the music. Um, yeah. Okay. Was it a pleasant experience, interaction? Yes. You know, just I'm just learning. I like learning. So. All right. Yeah. Is there anything about the interview that could have been better? You have any recommendations? Any critiques? Refinements that should be um, made? Not that I can think of right now. Okay. Yeah, but just, uh, or maybe just letting, uh, <laughs> letting the interviewer, or interviewee know that it's gonna just be about, you know, the phenomenon that's going on, about, or, I don't even know if this is a new thing, really, men liking women speak. No, nah, that's always, that's, yeah. that's always been a thing. I'm pretty sure nothing's new, right? Yeah. There's always people that, but still, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's all. All right, then. Well, thank you very much. Any parting words? Um, I'll just spread love and light, everyone. Shine your light. 
Yeah. All right. Even if you like feet, shine your light. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Take care.